The Bible does not mention Halloween. However, both the ancient origins of Halloween and its modern customs show it to be a celebration based on false beliefs about the dead and invisible spirits or demons. The Bible warns, there must never be anyone among you who consults ghosts or spirits or calls up the dead. Deuteronomy 18, 10 through 12. While some view Halloween as harmless fun, the Bible indicates that the practices associated with it are not. At 1 Corinthians 10, 20 and 21, the Bible says, I do not want you to be participants with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons too. Halloween History and Customs 1. Samhain The origin of Halloween can be traced to this ancient pagan festival celebrated by Celtic people over 2,000 years ago, states the World Book Encyclopedia. The Celts believed that the dead could walk among the living at this time. During Samhain, the living could visit with the dead. However, the Bible clearly teaches that the dead are conscious of nothing at all. Ecclesiastes 9, 5. Thus, they cannot contact the living. 2. Halloween Costumes, Candy, and Trick-or-Treat According to the book, Halloween, An American Holiday, An American History, some of the Celts wore ghoulish costumes so that wandering spirits would mistake them for one of their own and leave them alone. Others offered sweets to the spirits to appease them. In medieval Europe, the Catholic clergy adopted local pagan customs and had their adherents go from house to house wearing costumes and requesting small gifts. The Bible, on the other hand, does not permit merging false religious practices with the worship of God. 3. Ghosts, Vampires, Werewolves, Witches, and Zombies These have long been associated with the evil spirit world. Halloween Trivia the Bible clearly states that we should oppose wicked spirit forces, not celebrate with them. 4. Halloween Pumpkins or Jack-o'-lanterns In medieval Britain, supplicants moved from door to door asking for food in return for a prayer for the dead, and they would carry hollowed-out turnip lanterns whose candle connoted a soul trapped in purgatory. Halloween, from pagan ritual to party night. Others say that the lanterns were used to ward off evil spirits. During the 1800s in North America, pumpkins replaced turnips because they were plentiful as well as easy to hollow out and carve. The beliefs behind this custom, the immortality of the soul, purgatory, and prayers for the dead are not based on the Bible. Is Halloween celebrated where you live? In the United States and Canada, Halloween is widely known and celebrated every year on October 31st. In some places, holidays are celebrated that although named differently, share similar themes. Contact with the spirit world involving the spirits of the dead, fairies, witches, and even the devil and demon angels. Personally, you may not believe in supernatural spirits, you might simply view taking part in Halloween and similar celebrations as a way to have fun and teach your children to explore their imagination. Many people, though, regard these celebrations as harmful for the following reasons. 1. Halloween, explains the Encyclopedia of American Folklore, is integrally related to the prospect of contact with spiritual forces, many of which threaten or frighten. Halloween Timeline 5th century BCE. The Celts observe the festival of Samhain at the end of October, when they believe ghosts and demons roam the earth more so than at other times. 1st century CE. The Romans conquer the Celts and adopt the spiritistic rituals of Samhain. 7th century CE. Pope Boniface IV is said to have established the annual celebration of All Saints Day to honor martyrs. 11th century CE. The 2nd of November is designated as All Souls Day to commemorate the dead. Observances surrounding All Saints Day and All Souls Day are collectively called Hallowtide. 18th century CE. The name of the holiday, Halloween, 
or Hollow Evening, appears in print as Halloween. 19th century CE. Thousands of people who move from Ireland to the United States bring with them Halloween customs that in time combined with similar customs of immigrants from Britain and Germany as well as Africa and other parts of the world. 20th century CE. Halloween becomes a popular nationwide holiday in the United States. 21st century CE. Commercial interest in Halloween grows into a worldwide multi-billion dollar industry. Likewise, many celebrations like Halloween have pagan origins and are deeply rooted in ancestor worship. Even today, people around the world use these days to make contact with supposed spirits of the dead. 2. Although Halloween has been viewed mainly as an American holiday, each year people in more and more countries have been adopting it. Many newcomers to the celebration, however, are unaware of the pagan origins of Halloween symbols, decorations, and customs, most of which are related to supernatural beings and occult forces. The following is supplementary information. Where did it come from? The origin of some Halloween customs and symbols. Costumes. The Celts wore frightening masks so that evil spirits would mistakenly think the wearers were spirits and would leave them alone. The church gradually amalgamated pagan customs with the feasts of All Souls and All Saints. Later, celebrants went from house to house wearing costumes of saints, angels, and devils. Pumpkins. Carved candlelit turnips were displayed to repel evil spirits. To some, the candle and the turnip represented a soul trapped in purgatory. Later, carved pumpkins were more commonly used. Candy. The ancient Celts tried to appease wicked spirits with sweets. The church later encouraged celebrants to go from house to house on All Hallows' Eve, asking for food in return for a prayer for the dead. This custom eventually became Halloween's trick-or-treat. Vampires, werewolves, witches, zombies. These creatures have long been associated with the evil spirit world. 3. Thousands of Wiccans who follow ancient Celtic rituals still call Halloween by the ancient name Samhain and consider it to be the most sacred night of the year. Christians don't realize it, but they're celebrating our holiday with us. We like it, stated the newspaper USA Today when quoting a professed witch. 4. Celebrations like Halloween are in conflict with Bible teachings. The Bible warns, there must never be anyone among you who practices divination, who is soothsayer, augur, or sorcerer, who uses charms, consults ghosts or spirits, or calls up the dead. Deuteronomy 18, 10 and 11. In view of the foregoing, it is wise for you to know about the dark origins of Halloween and similar celebrations. Having this fuller understanding may move you to join many others who do not participate in these holidays.